Today we're going to look at SEO, search engine optimization, for a new website. Every website has to start somewhere and if you've got a brand new website or even just one that you haven't touched for a while and is just looking a bit, wouldn't say jaded, but a little bit out of date, then these will be some quite simple tips. The first one is get the basics right and what that means is things like page titles. They're probably the most important element of a page because they're the things that show up as the blue links, clickable links in the search results and if they're not enticing and not related to the keyword then people aren't even going to click and get through to see your website let alone anything else. And there's guides all over the place um, including one on my site if you have a look um, one of the links below which will help you with just the basics of SEO and chances are you've got a WordPress blog nowadays in which case SEO isn't built in but you can get a plugin of which I'd suggest the Yoast one, Y-O-A-S-T um, and just follow, it's got tutorials and it's got hints along the way and it does a page analysis for you so get the basics right that's the first part of SEO for a new website the second part is targeting what I term, what everyone terms long tail keywords that means you wouldn't just do SEO oh, and this, this video's example of long tail keyword SEO for any website. It's a longish thing and you're only going to search for that phrase if you're actually in need of search engine optimization for a new website. If you've got an existing website or an old website you wouldn't search for this phrase, you'd search for a different one. And the more you can laser target what you want or what you're offering the more likely people are to click on your thing and find you useful. And that's the way you start competing. I was talking to someone today and it, in, she was in weight loss, she was selling a supplement or a, whatever it is and weight loss is competitive but drill down in that industry or any other industry at all and it doesn't take very long until you find ones that people are searching for are being ignored by most of your competition and that's if I was on any new website I set up I aim for what's known as the long tail or low hanging fruit first because that gets the most results and that ties in with the next point which is keep at it. Persistence pays an awful lot more than anything else. It's the tortoise and hare scenario very much. So what you often see is a new competitor comes into the market, goes absolutely, does everything under the sun and more for the first month or two and then disappears off the face of the earth because they've run out of steam. It's much much better to take a longer term approach and with SEO long term generally means three, six, even twelve months before you can expect results. But target the right long tail long tail keywords and keep at it and you'll actually be pleasantly surprised at how fast you can SEO on your website. And if you'd like help with that, click the link below and contact me. My name's Trevor and I'll give you a hand. Obviously I'll charge you for it, but it's it'll pay off if you're in anything where people spend money doing SEO because that's where people look nowadays so contact me, give me a phone, call, drop me an email use the contact form, whatever, click the link below and just contact me for help with SEO for a new website at a price that won't break the bank I look forward to chatting with you